Well, it really is a city that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester, and it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the main striker today is Marcus Rashford. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. An absorbing match in prospect. Manchester United get the ball rolling. Madueke. It should be a truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So underway once again, Chelsea with the lead in this match. Havertz. Given away by Chelsea. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Enzo Fernandez. Good looking pass. Anthony. Really tidy looking attack continued by Ericsson. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity.
Mateo Kovacic. Possession one. Eriksen. Sancho. On to Bruno Fernandes. Can he apply the finish? Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Eriksen. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. with the match 2-1 is the scoreline what's going to happen next Madueke with a textbook interception Jaden Sancho Anthony Oh, a vital interception Sterling And he has options available Splendid defending and it needed to be Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Being egged on by the crowd. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Christian Eriksen. Thiago Silva. Fernandez. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count. I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game. They've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. And the emphasis is on creativity. Sancho. And return to Casemiro. Corner given to United. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And short it is. Lindelof just cutting off the supply. Shaloba now with Aubameyang. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Could play it in. Loftus cheek. Giving it a try, couldn't quite finish. Well, if they can just get one, it will certainly make it interesting. Going forward well, Obama Yang, a chance to eat into their lead. Obama Yang, oh, commanding goalkeeping.
Let's see about the delivery. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it's a really good header as well. Sterling gets into a great position, makes exactly the right contact, and gives the goalkeeper no chance at all. That's a top-class goal. So underway once more, and the push is on from Chelsea. Can they find a leveller? So no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, Christian Eriksen, a player with a tremendous eye, Stuart, and using it to good effect. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grip. Well, the action underway once again, and work to do for Chelsea in this second half. Lindelof. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Lindelof now. Casemiro. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Really vital interception here. Mateo Kovacic. And Kai Havertz. Chance to play it in. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Rashford and return to Sancho well a top-notch piece of defensive judgment Obama Young excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward United have it once again breaking at pace can they keep it going oh surely throwing it away from here well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and what an emphatic strike it is from Sancho hit with his laces it's a great goal The current scoreline, 4-2. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Loftus-Cheek. Here's Kovacic. And Sterling has it. An effective challenge. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attack in football and they look like scoring more. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And Aubameyang in control of the ball in that advanced position. And Kai Havertz... And now it is there for him. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. Go for 
Chelsea. Well, how about this? 4 3. And into the last 20 minutes. Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes. United might be able to cash in. Still looking for space. Casimiro. Tremendous block. Teammates in the middle. Manchester United have lost the ball. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Mateo Kovacic. Crossing possibilities. Under pressure. Havertz! Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, here it is again. Sterling's cross really does invite somebody to attack it, and the finish is really well taken because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Casemiro. Christian Eriksen now. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Madueke. Chaloba and Havertz read it superbly to take back possession a danger here as he runs at them oh you don't want to lose the ball in that position Havertz, can he find the right pass? Obama Yang. Chelsea have won themselves a corner. Now, what can they do with it? Playing it in, able to deal with the threat. He continues his run. Obama Yang and Chelsea have given us away. Well, the United fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise, but can they get a winner now? Oh, managing to beat him. Rashford. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. I think everyone knows what Christian Eriksen is capable of, but as far as stopping him is concerned, that is no easy assignment.
Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.